people who work for a living expect a monetary return for their service they rendered. And there are different ways a person gets paid for his or her services. Are you familiar with the term salary, wage, income, and benefit? If yes, then it's great. If not, this video will discuss these four terms, so if you would like to learn, continue watching this video. Hello everyone! Welcome back to our math room. Let's learn together another lesson in business mathematics which is all about salary, wage, income, and benefit. What are the learning objectives? At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define salary, wage, income, and benefit, and solve problems related to salary and wage. When people work, they receive a monetary amount in exchange to the service they render. The manner of payment varies depending on the profession or job you are in. Some would receive a salary, a daily wage, an income, a bonus, or a consultation fee. So what are the ways of service payment? We have salary, next is the wage, then we have the income, and benefit. Let's get to know each service payment. Let's begin with salary. The compensation is a fixed amount of money for each time period work. The amount is determined usually in a contract which is signed before employment starts. Mean to say, salaried employees have employment contracts. Salaried employees are paid the same amount every pay period. It is regardless of hours work, holidays, and etc. Salary earners usually get paid every 15 days or bi-monthly. Next is the wage. The compensation coded in an hourly, daily, or weekly rate of an employee. The employee is paid at a regular rate for a stated minimum number of hours or which is called the regular hours and receives a higher rate for extra hours work or is called the overtime hours. Wage earners usually paid more per hour when working on holidays, Sundays, evenings, and etc. However, even though wage earners are paid more per hour when working on holidays, they are under the no work, no pay policy. They are not paid when they are not asked to work in cases of regular holidays, special holidays, or non-working holidays, or even when the government suspends work during typhoons or calamities. Meaning to say, they are only paid the actual number of hours or days that they have worked. Let's define minimum wage. When we say minimum wage, it refers to the lowest amount of money you are allowed to be paid for one hour of work as defined by law. And the minimum wage rate is based on the regular working hours of 8 hours a day. Take note that salaries and wages vary depending on nature of work, location of work, and the time of work. Salaries for those working in cities are higher than those who work in provinces. Let's differentiate contractual employees from probationary employees. When we say contractual, those who are hired for a specific projects only, meaning to say their employment will end upon completion of the project. While probationary employees are those who are hired for the purpose of hiring them permanently as their skills or expertise are needed for the continued operations of the company. The probation period must not exceed 5 months. To give emphasis on the difference between salary and wage, let us have some sample problems. Under the salary, we have a university assistant professor is usually given a monthly salary. If his salary is 40000 per month, how much is his annual salary? Since we are talking about annual salary, this refers to 12 months. So we have if he gets 40000 per month as his salary, then his annual salary is given by 40000 per month times 12 months is equal to 480000 pesos. Next, a clerk earns a salary of 20000 per month. 
assuming that he works 8 hours a day for a 20-day work month, how much does he get per day? So if a clerk earns 20,000 per month as a salary, then he gets 20,000 divided by 20 days is equal to 1,000 pesos per day. Let us now have a sample problem under wage. A math tutor who is paid 500 per hour is earning a wage. How much does he earn for an 8-hour week work? Since we're looking for the wage for a week, then we have a math tutor gets 500 per hour and if he works for 8 hours a week, then he will be paid 500 times 8 hours is equal to 4,000 pesos for that week. Another problem, a school cleaner is paid per hour. If he is paid an average wage of 55 pesos per hour, how much will he get if he works for 8 hours and 5 days a week for 4 weeks? Since we're looking for his total amount, in working for 4 weeks, we need to have first the daily wage. So since 55 per hour, we have 55 times 8 is equal to 440 pesos a day. Then in 5 days a week, we have 440 per day times 5 days in a week is equal to 2,200 pesos in a week. Then in 4 weeks or in 1 month, the cleaner gets 2,200 times 4 weeks is equal to 8,800. Let us now define income. Income is a money that an individual receives in exchange for providing a good or service or through investing a capital. Some sources of income, let's say for farmer, to receive an income from crops. For fishermen, they have the fish. And for vendors, they have the vegetables, let's say. Another one is, individuals may earn income by investing their capital in stocks, mutual funds, or bank deposits. Let's now define benefit. Keep in mind that the basic wage or salary is not the only compensation that an employee receives. Majority is still given additional benefits. So when we say benefit, it refers to employee compensation given by an employer on top of the basic salary or wage. Benefits may come in the form of cash or in time. For an example, under the cash benefits, we have the 13-month pay, bonuses, rice subsidy, transportation allowance. And under the non-cash benefits, we have the government benefits, the SSS or GSIS, Pag-ibig, and PhilHealth. At this time, check your own understanding about salary and wage. You may pause the video to answer this. Let's check your work. Number one, the pay every month varies. It is under wage. Number two, it has an hourly basis for payment. Under wage. Number three, usually paid to manufacturing process work. It is also under wage. And number four, a fixed pay given to an individual on a monthly or an annual basis for the work done by him or her. It is under salary. Next, let us have problem solving. You may pause the video to answer these problems. Item number 1 67.13 pesos per hour is the hourly wage of a minimum wage earner in Metro Manila. Next, 11,149.92 is a total wage of a fast food service crew for that month. These are the important concepts that you need to take note about this lesson. When we say salary, the compensation is a fixed amount of money for each time period work. When we say wage, the compensation coded in an hourly, daily, or weekly rate for an employee. When we say income, the money that an individual receives in exchange for providing a good or service or through investing a capital. And when we say benefit, it is an employee compensation given by an employer on top of the basic salary or wage. That will be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe on my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so you will be updated with the latest video tutorials in math here in our math room. Bye everyone! See you on our next video.